<sighs> but this man is tired as well. Oh, actually, speaking of man, <laughs> I should show you my new skin. Hopefully, it's showed up. Oh, of course, you can only see the back of my head. So that's my ginger hair. But I'll try and show you the front with this. I don't know if you'll see that. Maybe I'll zoom in on it a bit. Let me try and line this up a little bit, make it easier. I'll zoom in on that. It's actually me uh, dressed up as Adam Jensen from Deus Ex. Which, um, hint, or, or, um, yeah, hint, hint, will be sometime in the future. You may expect some Deus Ex videos, but there's, there's me as Adam Jensen with the, uh, augmented eyes and right in the side of my head there and all that fun stuff. I thought it was awesome. I made it myself. It wasn't from, like, a template or anything, so you can't, unfortunately, you can't get it and I'm not going to give it out because I want, I want, like, a skin that I'm kind of known for having, I guess, and, and this seems to be it. I, I'm freaking loving Deus Ex right now, and I'm definitely going to do some videos. I know I missed the boat on doing like you know the th you know jump on it and get a, a let's play done thing like right. Why is my phone silent? Unsilenced if I just silenced it. Anyway, I know I missed the boat on that. You know trying to jump in and get all the views and all the you know like the the hottest new let's play of the the big the biggest new game and all that fun. I know I missed that. I'm not. I didn't intend on doing that. What I want to do is actually provide like a whoa. Why did I just do like a double jump there? Anyway, what I actually want to do is provide like a really comprehensive uh, walkthrough, not necessarily a let's play. I want I want to be able to go on and show you how to beast in that game. And um, and the sad thing is like that I I don't ever be really come off as a good player in, in certain games because I play a lot of my let's plays blind, you know. And if you don't know what blind means in terms of a let's play, it just means you jump in without ever having played the game before, and uh, you you just play from then on. You don't you know you don't spend time playing it through first. Do like maybe one playthrough on your own and then record some videos. You just kind of jump right in and get videos on. And usually people who do that are either interested in, or people who do that are usually playing more so for themselves and the story, or they they just want to jump on to get views and things. So for example, if someone puts up a let's play within a day of a game coming out then it's, it's kind of safe to bet they're going to be doing it for views. And, I mean, not necessarily only for views. I mean, I know people play uh, Let's Plays for fun and, and some of them, do, like I said, do it blind for the story so that they get the full experience at the same time you get to watch it and you kind of get to play vicariously through them. I, I, I understand that and I, I do that as well. I'm not trying to... I can't bash people for doing that when I do it myself. But I'm, I'm just saying it's... Um, that's generally the only reason people do it. So what I want to do is actually provide a full-on uh, walkthrough of the game where I'll show you how to, to just beast through that and, and that means I'm going to have to play the game maybe one or two times on my own to kind of get a grasp on the, the best way to do certain things and I've actually, um, right now I've not got too far into the game because what I've actually been doing is kind of that. I've, I've been playing, I played the first maybe two hours of the game over maybe two or three times, you know, trying to perfect the first, oh my game crashed, I'll be back in a second. I don't know why my game keeps crashing. I don't know if it is that furnace thing or not. I have no idea, but I have to play offline now. I've lost my skin. Anyway, as I was saying, I did play the first hour or two, or no, maybe two or three hours of Deus Ex trying to perfect the first few missions over and over again. As opposed to playing through the entire game, I've actually, you know, like I said, I've, I've learned the first few missions. And I'm, I've been doing that, um, you know, for the past, you know, maybe two weeks. Well, since the game was. Wow. I've been doing it since the game was released, and it's been it's been a blast. It's been really fun doing that. Okay, I don't have any. Let me get rid of this, and these, and this, and uh, yeah, it's been really fun. I'm going to give the game a full play through, play through on my own as well. I'm not you know I'm not just trying to run through the game and completely ruin it or anything like that. I'm just saying like I, I want to perfect it, get it done you know to a T, to a science, so that I can provide you with the best possible walkthrough, not let's play. In this case, I'm usually used to doing let's plays. I want to do a walkthrough for once. So let me think what I want to do here. I'm clearly having issues with crashing. I don't know if I should start a new world or download a new jar file or something. But um, oh my god, you know what? I can tell these chests are going to start really bugging me with the, the door sounds. I don't like that. One thing I don't like about this is that. But um, should I just move or should I? Uh, I don't know if I should. Oh, what the hell! I don't know if I should just leave this place and go somewhere else for the f the sake of it, you know, for 
for fun. Whatever. Sorry, I'm trying to mute my iPhone. It keeps making noise. And I just hit my microphone stand. Nice one, sneaky mode. But I also want to go cave exploring, you know? Let me, um. Let me stock up on a bit of stuff. I should make some iron armor. So let's do that. Let's get some shoes. Let's get some leggings. Let's get a chest piece. This music seems really loud, doesn't it? I really hope it isn't. I'll turn it down in a second. Let's get that done. Put this in here. Turn the volume down of the music. <sighs> so now I'm armoured up. I've got a bunch of food. What else could I possibly take with me? Nothing really. I can cook the chickens, but then again it may crash. I, I reckon that is what's crashing my world. Because, think about it, when it crashed there, this also finished crafting all my stuff. So I don't know, I think it is in my furnaces, and I, I don't know why it's just me, it doesn't... Um, people report in the comments, they're not getting that issue whatsoever, so I don't know if it's just me, or... Whatever, but... Well, beggars can't be choosers, but I'm going to run all the way out here and show you those mountains I found. I don't know if I fully showed you them previously, in like a, another video or not, but... I'm going to head out and try and show you that, it's becoming night time. I'm pretty confident at this point. I've, I've played enough Minecraft to deal with uh, this kind of stuff. And that, that also brings me on to another point. I just wanted to make this, and I don't, I'm not going to make this another video dwelling on, you know, min a world of Minecraft and blah blah blah, this and that. I'm just going to say one thing I noticed, um, just as an, an observation on myself, is that in the last maybe almost 40 episodes of World of Minecraft, I really didn't encounter any mobs. Like, I did get the odd mob, you know, floating around outside of my base and, you know, walking around at, at night. But I never did find, like, come face to face with any, and I think that's what's changed. It's making this feel way more fun as well, is the fact that I'm, you know, getting to come face to face with various different mobs at night now. I'm feeling a bit more, um, you know, my Dora Explorer mode is kind of engaged, and I just want to look about and find some cool stuff. So that's a cool little observation for you, if you didn't notice. I've not fought mobs in a long time. And that's uh, it's been really fun doing so. I'm going to head out and show you these mountains. It's all in the direction. Uh, I've kind of worked out my the way to get back home is always head home in, in the direction that the sun sets and the moon sets. So if the moon is coming up, it's rising there. You can see that means that if I head that way, I'm going the opposite direction of my base. Um, in one particular direction, of course. If I'm going the opposite way, I just flip the the idea, the method, the the um, formula, I guess. Just trying to make sure I don't run into any Endermans. Endermen. They are truly terrifying. Very cool though, like, a, 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 they're a great addition and they, and they aren't as intrusive as I thought. Not only because they're not very common, they're quite rare. Oh, look at this little cave down there. Let's mark this off so I can check it out at some point. I really like finding big holes in the ground like that so I can jump down and find some cool stuff. Um, I think my two goals for this, I've mentioned before, one is to find an NPC village. My new goal, or new, one of my new goals is to find, um, wait, am I playing on peaceful? Yes, I am. Do apologize for that. My other objective is to find a stronghold, which only one spawns per world. You know, once one spawns, you'll never find another one. So we really need to be on the lookout when we get into caves and things. Or stuff like that. So we're beginning to get to those cool mountains I was talking about because I remember this, the big egg shaped one. Not really sure why it's an egg, but it is. Oh, hello. There's nothing here. We'll mark it off anyway. A little cubby hole we could use if we need it. Uh, yeah, it's like a big egg and I have let it up in there, I believe. I've actually explored in there. But this means we're actually getting close to the mountains that I found. I think they're just right over here, somewhere. Somewhere close by. In a world not so far away. 